Now your weather authority forecast with meteorologist Mike Susco. Well, in two weeks, we're going to end up having a solar eclipse coming across the United States here. Now, for us here in northeast and central Pennsylvania, we're not going to be in the path of totality, but there will be a place in Pennsylvania that will be, and that is going to be Erie. Right around 315, 320 in the afternoon is when totality will be for that area. If you can get out there, going to be worth it here. That will be in two weeks, and hopefully we'll have a day like we did today. Lots of sunshine, barely any clouds out there. We'll see what happens. On average, we usually have about 60 to 70 percent cloud cover during the day uh, this time of year, so we'll see. But it was a beautiful day today, 59 degrees, so mild as well. Our average is 51 and we have high pressure in control right now, but as we go through the night tonight, that's going to be moving off to our south and east, and clouds will be returning along with the chance of some rain as we go into Wednesday. So that's what's coming our way. You can see that rain there, parts of Illinois, Indiana, as well as St. Louis there in Missouri. That's all heading our way. And right, right now, it's quiet outside, not much going on here. 43 in Wilkesbury and Scranton, 38 in Stroudsburg, 37 there in Pottsville, and 48 in Lewisburg. If you're in LaPorte, you're at 36 degrees. Everyone drops Dropping down into the 30s tonight. If you are in the mountains, you'll be waking up to the upper 20s for your Tuesday here. And it's going to be a cloudy day tomorrow. Temperatures do get into the upper 40s, low 50s for highs, but lots of cloud cover, more clouds than sun tomorrow as we head into the afternoon. And then tomorrow evening, we are tracking some isolated rain showers coming through tomorrow night after sunset. So this will be around 8, 9 o'clock where we're watching for some isolated shower activity. Some questions on exactly how much of that gets to the ground. But then Wednesday morning, you will need the umbrella here. We're tracking scattered rain showers, maybe in some downpours at times Wednesday afternoon as well. So Wednesday, you'll want the umbrella and the rain jacket around here. And then as we head into Thursday, things get a little bit interesting in terms of your location with the rain. But it's also throughout the entire week, we're going to be seeing temperatures right around average here. Friday will be our coolest day. We'll get down into the upper 40s with that. But here's a look at Thursday with that rain chance, which is also the opening day, by the way, for the Philadelphia Phillies if you're heading down to uh, Citizen Bank Park. But notice in the afternoon, rain right along the eastern seaboard pretty much for the entire east coast and right on the edge for us. So if this ends up shifting just a little bit more to the west, then we'll have to introduce some rain chances. But right now, I think we're just going to be outside of it as we go into Thursday. And then the weekend looking pretty good. Easter itself, mostly sunny. We'll get to 52 degrees on Easter Sunday, so right around average for anyone having some Easter egg hunts out there. You won't have any issues this weekend. And then rain will come back as we go into early next week, guys. But like I said, tomorrow just going to be a cloudy day. Temperatures in the 50s here, but we should be holding that rain off until after sunset tomorrow evening. Mike, we're at that point in the year where it's great to see the warmer temperatures, but it is still March, so I'm just wondering if those are here to stay. <laughs> Yeah, and you know, I do think that they are going to be here to stay for our area. Now, that doesn't mean we'll get below average, I, but I don't think uh, we're going to see any massive cold snaps or anything like that here uh, in the next couple of weeks. All right, Mike, thanks. The Biden administration is putting up $6 million 